Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 1. In this episode, we're gonna fly around in the little fucking loop-de-loops. Look at us. Look at us flying in eights. I don't I don't know how to actually make this these eights work perfectly. I, I guess I kinda am doing that now, but whatever. Hey, today we're gonna go to the Forest of Hope, which has eight items. Eight ship parts inside of it. Eight. Eight. Have you eaten yet? Eight? Did you eight? Well, I don't know where this is going. Anyway, welcome to the Forest of Hope. Definitely, probably the most peaceful one, in my opinion. It has the most peaceful music, at least. What is it? What is it? You want to say, game? My dolphin has returned to the surface, along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so we shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. Alright, well, how about we go and do that? And also, as you can see, now we have a timer for the day. I believe the timer is... 13 minutes? I'm not completely certain of that. If I am wrong on this, I, uh, I, I suppose you will get a little bit of a notification right now on the, uh, on the good old screen, you know? Because, uh, that's, that's what I do with, uh... When, when, when I edit, I just, uh... Okay, well, I thought for sure that one of you was gonna, you know, pick up the, the pellet... The pellet? The pellet pad. Pellet pad? Pellet pad is not even gonna work. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that, that was a yellow pellet, which means that we're only gonna get one pellet. It's because the thing is, if you put in a pellet of the same color of your Pikmin, then you'll get twice the amount that the pellet says. Of course, this doesn't really translate to uh, like a pellet that says five on it because I believe in fact if there's a pellet that says five on it I'm fairly certain that the uh, the, the actual time the actual amount of uh, Pikmin that you get I think there's like eight or something like that I guess we'll eventually see because I'm fairly certain that there's a uh, a five pellet somewhere around here I don't know oh, there's a ten pellet over there on the ground and there's a five pellet over there so hey I guess that's uh I guess that's, that's gonna be a way to find out, huh? Um, so, what I'm planning on doing today is, well, first of all, we have to take down this, this wall, which kind of is a boring task to start the day off, but, um... Ooh, actually, let's, let's beat this cut over here. If you throw a Pikmin right on top of the Boltman, it should fucking kill it in one shot, but it's not, and now I lost the Pikmin. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Anyway, I believe uh, the bolt. Yeah, the boltman takes three Pikmin. Let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. Hello, hello, hello boltman. Why is why is it not killing? Is that a Pikmin two thing? Is that not a Pikmin one thing yet? I, I guess that's not a thing in Pikmin one yet. Huh? See, because the thing is, uh, I believe it, it's, at least in Pikmin two, it's it's like this, and in Pikmin three as well, of course. Um, if you throw a Pikmin like right on top of an enemy, it actually like squashes it and just kills him like in one hit for some reason that that's it's not really doing that anyway let's let's try to just kill all these plants and then uh get, get our pikmin to pick them up i'm not gonna i'm not gonna just you know just walk around with like four pikmin and try to kill that fucking gigantic ball board right there can we get a better look at him yeah there that's it's a big bulb i think it's a bull borb I'm not entirely sure. I think that the tiny ones are called Bulb... No, wait, never mind. Like, a Bulbman is something for Pikmin, too. I'm just completely fucking up again. Uh, there's a bridge over here, but we can't really do much of it yet. Because, well... There's another bridge over there, but we can't really walk through water with a Pikmin yet. Because if you do decide to walk through the water with a Pikmin, they're gonna drown. And we, we don't want we don't want our Pikmin to drown, you know? We want our Pikmin to survive. Because that is a... Uh, is a, a, a much better suited strategy. Also, I completely missed the Pikmin grabbing the five pellet. So now I can't even now I can't even make sure that that we got like eight Pikmin. But whatever, whatever. I guess while they are bringing that back, we're just gonna put a Pikmin to the grass. Because when you pluck grass as a Pikmin, this will uh, cause like nectar to fall out. Usually, at least, the game that it seems to not be not okay. There, there we go. Two nectar. Nope. Don't be fucking there. God damn it. You fucked it up. You fucked it up, Red Pikmin. 
Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delic del delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and p peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. Well, it's actually very easy to know what flower Pikmin do. Flower Pikmin are basically just faster, stronger. They're... The be they're just a better version of the other regular grass leaf Pikmin. There are three uh, forms of Pikmin actually. There's a leaf one, a bulb one, and then there's a flower one. Um, you can actually leave the Pikmin in the ground to make them mature into uh, into a bud and then into a flower. Which, you know, kind of makes sense because if you leave a plant in the ground and water it for long enough, it'll eventually become a flower, you know? So, I, I, I like that. I, I, what I do not like though is the fact that only one Pikmin got to drink their fucking nectar and now... And now, and now we're, we're kind of fucked. Also, I think if I look closely to that, that's like... Okay, so apparently only like eight Pikmin can grab onto one nectar. That kind of sucks. I know that in Pikmin too that they change that. They change it to just be like, hey... Oh, that's one thing I'm not gonna miss about this game once I switch over to Pikmin too. Um... Pikmin can fucking trample. Ye okay. Pikmin can trample and just, like, trip over. Which is never fun. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind, by the way, is that uh, if a Pikmin gets eaten by a Bulborb, it's not it's not the end of the world yet. Not at all. Because, um, well, if you kill the Bulborb fast enough, they, they, haven't, they haven't had the time enough yet to fully chew on the Pikmin, so they're not going to die yet. Why, it's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It is an unlimited supply energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Dude, if we had that, that'd be fucking amazing. Anyway, we need like 40 fucking Pikmin for this, so... Let's keep one Pikmin to us. To, um... Well... Just, just do that, I guess. No, don't, don't you fucking start doing that shit. Um... These are some, some weird-ass rocks, but we'll get into those weird-ass rocks later on. Let's, let's try to get the uh, fuel dynamo back first, and then uh, that will mess about continuing, you know? Actually, speaking of continuing, I think that we can grab these Pikmin and make them out slaves to grab this uh, this ten pellet over here. There, there's a particular strategy, by the way, for taking out those Bulborb uh, the best way possible, and the, the safest way possible. But uh, we'll, we'll get into that eventually. Right now, I'm just gonna deal with this uh, fuel dynamo. There we go. They brought back the fuel dynamo. Now with the fuel dynamo, we have two of 30 items. I keep calling them items. They're, they're fucking parts. Eternal fuel dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me. Oh, yeah. I've now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Which, basically when he says that, all he really means is, if I get that many more parts, I can just fly off into, into a new area. So hey, before we can do that, we're gonna have to figure out a way to, um, to get enough to, to, well, to do that, you know? And to do that, we have to kill this Bulborb over here. Now, the optimal strategy for killing Bulborbs is to bum rush them. Now, usually with 30 Pikmin, you, you will have enough to just kill them before they even get the chance to do anything to your, to your poor Pikmin. So, keep that in mind while you're, while you're taking them out. Also, um, yeah, that was the first instance of me cutting away a little bit. I, will be, I won't be showing off every single fucking thing of a day. Because that, that, that would just be ridiculous. Because sometimes it, sometimes a part of the day is just filled with me waiting on things being brought back. Like right now. But right now I can also just walk around and set these Pikmin to work on these... Um... Oh, actually, speaking of ball Pikmin, I believe we have one right now. I don't know how he got into a ball. I don't remember. I, I, don't, I don't think I, I left a Pikmin like, in, the, in the ground for that long. I might have to look up what, like, what makes a ball Pikmin happen. Um, <laughs> sorry for giving myself so much fucking work in the future, Mark, but um, can you just put up everything that makes a ball Pikmin happen and a flower Pikmin? Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you very much, myself. I really appreciate um, the, the fact that you work so dearly from, for yourself. Anyway, we have a shit ton of fucking red Pikmin now. I'm, might, I might have a little bit too much now to think about it, because 
we're gonna come across a certain species of Pikmin very soon. So let me just put put back in like 20, 20 red Pikmin. That that should be that should be good enough. Anyway, let's uh, pick up some more Pikmin, shall we? Oh, my clock is indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on the monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So, it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom of my spacesuit, damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left, those numbers reflect Pikmin under my command, Pikmin in the field, and total Pikmin including those in onions. To adjust my monitor, I can press L to rotate the camera, R to zoom, and Z to change the viewpoint. I can also press Y to view a detailed computer analysis. I could, which is just the menu like I've said already. And you can also see that there is like a tiny bit of an empty, empty field of view there. But we'll get into that very soon. Probably actually inside of this episode we'll get to it, because this episode is, well mainly just starting the exploration of Forest of Hope. We're not going to be leaving the Forest of Hope for a while, we're probably going to be spending day 3 and 4 here as well. Not to say that I suck at, you know, collecting these uh, these ship parts, but it's not exactly a fast ordeal, you know, to grab the part and then wait for it to be brought back to your ship. It's not, a, it's not the fastest thing in the world. What's also not the fastest thing in the world is this, uh, is this good old wall being broken down. So, you know what? Let's put all of our Pikmin to work on this wall. All of our 71 Pikmin. That's a, that's a weird number, 71. Although I guess that's mostly from the yellow pellet that I picked up. Because, as I've said already, yellow pellets have a tendency to only give you one Pikmin. Now, I'm not gonna pick up those pellets for the red ones, because we're gonna come across something new. Something entirely different very soon. Speaking of something new, let's fuck up this, this ball board. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, boys. There, he, he, he got fucked up. Once again, though, I'm gonna leave him because, as you can see right there, is a onion. But let's take care and bum rush this fucking ball board mother first. As you can see, 70 Pikmin take real quick fucking care of them, you know? It's, it's pretty fucking amazing. Anyway, let's see what this is. It's a yellow Pikmin. Wow. What? Wow. <laughs> Sorry. So, sometimes the uh, the Owen Wilson inside of myself comes out. Don't you guys have that? Don't, don't you? You know, your inner Owen Wilson? Hey! The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what others may... Alright, let me try it again. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. But this one is a yellow Pikmin. Now, this is something that happens once you um, get kinds of Pikmin and you separate them with the X button, they separate into little groups, which, thank you, Pikmin overlords, for doing that. Because, holy shit, that is very helpful. Now, what yellow Pikmin are mostly known for is their, uh, well, like Olimar said, their smaller weight. Now, what the smaller weight actually means for us is, well, it, it's, it's basically gonna be able to be thrown higher. Which will be useful for quite a lot of things, because there are some items in the game, some ship parts that require us to throw Pikmin a little bit higher than usual. Speaking of ship parts, there's one over there that I believe we need yellow Pikmin for to get. You can see it over there. It's actually one of the most useful, if not the most useful, uh, ship part in the entire game because it's gonna, it's gonna be fuck. It's gonna make this game a shit ton easier for us to play. And I, I don't, I don't just exaggerate that. I mean, I, I know that I literally said the word exaggerate in an exaggerated way, but don't pay attention to that. Don't. Just don't. Anyway, we have seven Pikmin now, so that should be enough to, uh, grab this thing. Grab that weird fucking blue pellet is what I tried to do there, but, you know, whatever. No, don't. Whatever. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it your way, yellow Pikmin. 
Just fucking grab them, thanks. Yes, good job, Yellow Pikmin. You're not as worthless as I, as I presumably presumed. <laughs> presumably presumed. Thank you, myself, for being such an awkward cunt. Because that is just really what I am, just an awkward cunt, you know? I think everyone's an awkward cunt at some point in their life. Especially around the age of, uh, let's say 14 to 16. That's when you're most awkward. Yeah, that, that seems like a good, a good year to be awkward. Well, it's, it's not good to be awkward, of course, but, you know, whatever. Let's try to pick some more Pikmin. Hey, that's, maybe, maybe that's why they call it Pikmin. You know, not, not because there's always a nod to the pick pick carrots, but maybe because, you know, they're called Pikmin. You picked them out of the ground. Now, isn't that a, a clever little jokes from me? You're all pal salty apples. That ain't a joke, though. I'm not your pal. I'm just a man grabbing some Pikmin out of the ground. Also, my dog is uh, barking like crazy. You probably won't even be able to hear that, though. Because dogs tend to be very quiet. If you don't agree with that, fuck you. Because they are very quiet. Anyway, what I want to do here is I want to grab my Pikmin. Because they're a little bit close to that wall. Because I'm going to be doing something with said wall. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing our yellow Pikmin here. And we're going to throw them carefully onto these bombs. I did not want you to start fucking smashing against the stone wall. It's not going to work. The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there is tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. Does it though? I mean, I mean really? I don't know if it does. I don't want to... Good job. Grab the rock please. There we go. Alright, now I want to make sure that I have... A bomb rock selected. All right, now throw this to the wall because no, 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 no. That's that's the wrong kind of pick. I'm just gonna throw the normal pigments away. The glowing rocks the yellow pigment picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. Pikmin I dismiss by pressing X bring their bombs when I call them back. Pikmin I throw by pressing A drop their bombs. When I call them back, keep clear of the explosion. When I touch When I touch Pikmin directly, they keep their bombs and fall in line. Alright, well, that's that's good to know. I'm I'm gonna have to yeah, keep close watch on that oh no, that might kill the Pikmin. Or not. That actually helped and, and brought the uh, the wall all the way down. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go around the place and just use the bomb rocks for basically all the places that are in here. Because there are quite a couple of places with uh, that we can use these bomb rocks on. Alright, well now we have 29 yellow Pikmin. I'm fairly certain that some Pikmin were thrown back into the onion because we have the limited amount of 100 Pikmin right now. And I believe that also has us picking up all the bomb rocks that are possible to pick up right now. Alright, now, you want to be careful with these bomb Pikmin. You want to touch them when you call them back. Because if you call them back, they're going to blow up. They're, 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 just, they're, they're just dead. Because they dropped the bomb that you so carefully made them, you know, pick up. Anyway, oh, that's a dead Pikmin. Well, that's a shame. But hey, you can't, you can't, you can't get a refund on a good friend. So I was gonna say, but whatever. Uh, this one more wall that I want to take care of. I mean, I suppose there's another one really, but we can't really take care of that one yet because that's a that's a that's a darker colored one and darker colored ones we can't really do anything with yet. Can I? Are there more? No, I guess not. Um, I'm gonna fucking risk it here. I don't think any of those have a bomb. Nope. Okay, good. Uh, it's almost the end of the day. I uh, I probably should call back my red Pikmin, to be honest. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions of their own will. But if I don't call the stragglers and add them to the group, they may be able. They may not be able to get back. I'm sure the Pikmin are still planted or safe, but I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. 
Yeah, well, that's indeed not really a great idea to leave them out in the darkness, and but we will be showing what will happen if you do leave them in the darkness in a good while. Um, I opened that way already. I really didn't have to, because we can't really do anything there yet until we get another kind of Pikmin, which we won't get until probably a couple of days ahead. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is I do want to spend the rest of the day blowing up Wow, do you really have to fucking straggle away that much? Um, I do want to blow up this. I think that should be enough time for them to run away from it. Yep, and that- Oh! Oh. Huh. I, I guess I misunderstood the explanation then. Anyway, I have all the Pikmin that I want. I did everything I wanted to do today. There- we could have technically been a little bit faster about this day and grabbed the other the other uh, ship part that was over there, the yellow Pikmin area. But, you know what? We did a good job. We saved the day. We did everything we wanted to. And now, it's the end of the day. Also, I believe this was like 17 minutes and not 13. But hey, that was the day. The reason I'm always quiet there is because I just I really love that that song. It's it's a very great just end of the day song, and I believe now we're also gonna see what happens if you leave Pikmin to fend for themselves. Look, there's some Bulbarb right there. They're gonna fucking kill the Pikmin that you leave behind. I was thinking about leaving behind just one Pikmin to show that off, but um, it seemed a little bit fucking cruel to me. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'll only have to press Y to, to look at my parts. Yes, that is actually something that I was gonna get into the next episode, because if we're gonna get that in the next episode, but fuck you, Olimar. Took my taking my stride, you bitch. Yet, there seems to be many hostile life forms here. If I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship. Stand in front of it and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. Now, I actually forget about that fact quite a lot of the time, but um, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to keep that in mind this time. Anyway, we sprouted 101 fucking Pikmin. We're not gonna have to farm for red Pikmin anytime soon. We have 91. That's more than enough, to be honest, for the entire rest of the game, if we don't lose any, which we will, because I'm not the best Pikmin player, I never claim to be the best Pikmin player, I'm just a Pikmin player. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, next time we'll be going to day 3 to collect some more parts in the Forest of Hope, so we'll see you guys in the next one.